Thursday. Uh, oh, yeah. Thursday, games start. NBA games uh, come back on Thursday. But that's not what we're doing. We are going to South Haven to watch the Memphis Hustle. But more so, we're there for the G League Ignite, who is playing the Hustle. And they have a guy by the name of Scoot Henderson. Scoot. Uh, if you haven't heard of him, well, now you have. Um, but if you have heard of him, you, you, I would assume you're a true basketball fan because he will be the second pick in the draft, barring just a complete meltdown of a franchise passing up on him. Yeah. I don't know how you pass up on Scoot. Obviously, you've got Victor Wimbanyama Here, going first. Here, here's the thing. I'm it's not, not even – I'm taking Victor, number one. If if any NBA team out there – now, this might come back to bite me in the butt, whatever. But I'm not picking no Nick Smith Jr. over Scoot Henderson. I'm not picking nah. – well, any of, the, any of the Tom is that the Thompson twins? Have you seen them? The Amen yeah, Thompson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. picking them either. I'm picking Scoot number two. Well, I think everybody knows this. That's this, crazy. Isn't, this isn't a shock to anybody. Scoot Henderson will be the second pick in the draft. It's just a matter of who he goes to. Um, I'm excited to watch him. By the way, oh yeah. By the way, we're going. We're sitting courtside. We're sitting courtside. Sixty bucks a piece. Sixty bucks a piece. We right by that. right by the ignite bench. I'm gonna try to like, yo, Scoot, get so, a pick. Some more. Um, get picked, buddy. Also, Sharif O'Neal. Sharif, Sharif, Sharif O'Neal is on. Those are the only the two. Son of Shaq. Two like really notable, yep. I think, players. Obviously, they've got other talent and stuff, but yeah, it, him and Sharif are the guys to watch. I don't know if, if anybody watching this remembers John Jenkins from Vanderbilt, but he was drafted in like 2012, 13, and he's still on the G League. Yeah, no, no, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, those two alone. He was like the 12th pick. By yeah, the way. yeah. Those two yeah. alone, I mean, like, I'm I'm so pumped to go, yeah, man. Like, I was telling you, I was like, uh, once he's in the league. We can say. That, well, but there there will never be another time where we're going to be able to watch Scoot Henderson play for 60 bucks a piece. That's of course crazy. I, so I'm excited for that. I'm ready for I'm it. I'm going to take my camera, try to get some flicks. I mean, I'm just going to sit back. I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. Um, who's some of, who are some of the players he reminds you of in the NBA? I got a, I got one guy that really comes to okay, mind. Okay, I got like a mix. Like a – it's like a – like a mix between Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook. Now, D Rose could shoot. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He could shoot a little, like a little bit, a yeah. little bit. He's a, he was a better shooter. See, I feel like than Russ. Scoot. It, it's honestly about the same. They would all, they would both jump three feet in the air to get their shot off. Scoot. Now he's he's still young, sh- shooting seventy or seventeen percent from three in his first G League season. So he's got to develop that jumper, but his his like athleticism, straight to the rim, just going. Ninety miles an hour, nonstop. Like he's he's broad. He can get to the to the rim whenever he wants to. I would say mix mixture I, I, of them two. I feel like uh, Westbrook more than D Rose. Yeah, yeah. Because of his just electric I attitude would, yeah. after dunking on somebody. That dunk. Like he would <laughs> dunk on people. Scoot does, and you just see like all this energy from him. Right. The veins popping out of his neck. Just the screaming. I think. He, he, I just see Westbrook, like prime Westbrook. That's what. That's really all that comes to mind for me. Also, he's got a good handle, and he's yeah. got. You know who he reminds me of? Who? Like his size reminds me of Anthony Edwards. Yeah. Yeah, like the he stockiness like of it, the broad shoulders. Yeah. The... He, at this age, he's bigger than D Rose and Westbrook. Yep. Like he's got a a head on these guys. You know, obviously Derrick Rose was the first pick in the uh, draft, but right. Uh, at this age, he's like eighteen, maybe nine. I think so. Yeah, he's, he's eighteen or nineteen. I think he's eighteen though. And he's a. Point, I'll let you figure that out. He's a point guard, correct? Yes. Or shooting guard, point guard? He's six yeah. three. It says so. Uh, but um, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited to see him in the league. Hopefully, he ends up on a good team. Uh, do you have any uh, draft boards open about? He's nineteen, but I'm about to pull up a draft board right now. Yeah, I can do that. Give me um, a little rundown on like uh, whatever, whatever your. Uh, ESPN or um, Yahoo I'm Sports. I'm going to do – I'm not doing NBC Sports, that's for sure. Um, let's do – should I do – dang. Let's, let me type in just ESPN. In the meantime, uh, this is your first G League game ever. Yes. I've been in the the arena that the Hustle play in at South Haven Lander Center. Yeah, that, that's where it – that's still there. Yeah. I, I've been in there, but it was for the Mississippi – River Kings, the yeah. hockey, mm-hmm. but I mean that was just um, I don't know. 
Let me let's look at this. So you're gonna have to scroll down past Victor Wimanyama because he will be yes. uh, the first the first pick. All right, so yeah. There and it's gonna it's it's saying Victor and then Scoot and then saying it's not even. I, I mean, really, I don't even know why. The Thompson twins might potentially go both in the top five. Uh, this is NBADraftRoom.com. They're saying I almost clicked that one, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Scoot would go number one overall in most drafts, which I can agree with that. But you've got a perennial in talent most dra- yeah. in Victor Wimbanyama. Victor Wim, I mean. Maybe since LeBron, like, that's the guy, like, you looking at him, like, oh, he's absolutely, yes. and maybe Zion even, like, I remember Zion, it it wasn't really even close, but at his height, you know, uh, 7'4", the ridiculous 7'4", and his shooting, crazy. you can't pass up on Victor. I understand, you can't pass up on Victor in a million years. Even though, personally, you got to be con- uh, concerned to a degree about injuries. Not saying, I mean... That's not a reason to pass up on him, but it's just something to keep in mind because Scoot Henderson could very well have the longer, better NBA career than Oh yeah. Uh, Victor. I mean, but. yeah, it's not ridiculous or stupid to say that, but 6'3", 195, Prime Westbrook or CP3 is what they have the the uh, comparison as. CP3? Yeah, I don't, I don't well, know. Well, Scoot, Scoot is Maybe like, you know, a, f- a good facilitator yeah, as well. Yeah, facilitating, but and they got Brandon Miller from Alabama. He's a stud, man. Uh, here, uh, again, on NBADraftRoom.com, uh, Henderson is an absolute freak of an athlete, powerful, bouncy as hell, and <laughs> with great body control. His ability to get to the rack reminds you of D. Rose and a young Westbrook. So Okay, see. Way to go. Yeah. Way I, go, I didn't mean like – yeah, I just meant like that quick first step, being able to get to the rim, creative finisher. That's what I kind of meant. I didn't mean like – His outside shooting um, a bit inconsistent. Yeah. Um, you know, it, okay. in a way, his story is probably going to be similar to Jaws, where getting to the rim, great. Jaws was leading the NBA in points in the paint as a guard. Like that's ja- that's absolutely insane. Uh, but his problem was he can't he can't shoot consistently from three, and I can see the same kind of issue being with Scoot. But clearly, it's not stopping Jaw in the no. NBA. No, I would say Jaws not a not a you know crazy out out there uh, comparison. I mean, he could be like a jaw, but I mean, I yeah, b- bigger sure. body, you know, but I mean, Morant's he's just J- like the other jaw, ones. The difference here, I think, would be jaw isn't going to bully you to the rim. Right. He's going to find these little nooks and, yeah. nooks and crannies to slide in. Nooks and, and crannies. Like he's, that he's, he's so quick. <laughs> Henderson's quick too, but he'll yeah, also run through you. Right. 